classified as a nuker. Bunny pretty much is best at ed clearing, but she is also good at boss damage. Spending time gaining electricity and dumping her load over a group of adds is pretty much her stick. Her passive rabbit's foot gains electricity the farther you move and loses it if she stops moving. Base Bunny needs to travel about 200 meters for a full bar of electricity and makes her do damage when landing on a double jump. Her first ability, Thrill Bomb, executes enemies in her vicinity and deals skill power damage in an AoE lightning ball above her head. Her second ability, Speed of Light, increases her movement speed and triples her electricity gain per cent per meter. Her third ability, Lightning Emission, makes her pulse with electricity per distance traveled, which is most effective when coupled with speed of light. When both are used, the farther you travel, the more you shock, but the farther you travel, the faster your MP drains. So cycle speed of light on and off to conserve MP. Lightning emission does not consume MP over time. It consumes electricity. When you turn it off, you don't travel far enough to waste too much electricity. Her ultimate, Maximum Power, is a lightning beam that gets stronger the more you let it shoot out of Bunny's palm. Level 3 is an entire electricity gauge and is the strongest you can shoot the beam. Bunny is one of the best ad clears and one of the highest boss damage DPSers in the game, so it's no real wonder why she's one of the fan favorites. She also has a couple other assets that make people really enjoy Bunny. Now for the bunny mods, these are exclusive to bunny. First we have probably one of the best ones, Electric Condense. This transforms bunny's ultimate unibeam into a damage over time effect around her feet. Then we have Electric Transition, and this one modifies the speed of light to increase your shield whenever you're running. This is pretty good, but I can't think of too many scenarios where I would choose this one over the other ones. Superconductor adds a debuffing effect to your electrocution status effect, and this just debuffs their enemies' attacks, so it's harder to get slapped. Bionic Fuel modifies the speed of light to consume HP instead of MP. Now this one is particularly very good against Void Intercept Battles, because in Void Intercept Battles you have very little cronies and adds to get MP drops from. So you can't really rely on MP. If I was fighting a Void Intercept battle, I would probably choose Bionic Fuel. Now I'm trying to do all of the Descendants all at the same time, so you should see a giant pack of Descendants released around the same time. So if you want to see the other Descendants, check out the playlist above. And if you like the 3D models, let me know.